Hello and welcome to Engineering Design Graphics. Today we're going to be looking at human factors in design sketching. First we're going to work on the human figure. Now both the human figure and the human hand are difficult to draw and yet geometrically relatively straightforward. So let's begin with a square. You're going to want to subdivide that square. At the halfway point we put the waist. We subdivide again at the lower half, and at the quarter point, we put the knee. The three quarter point is the chest, and we subdivide that last quarter for the head. Now, the head is a little larger than one eighth, but this gets us in the ballpark. And remember that your human figures are always going to be in a posture. Um, and so you're going to have to take this underlying geometry and adapt it to suit the, uh, the deformation that the particular um, scene that you're drawing calls for. You can draw joints at each of these uh, proportional locations. Those joints will guide the repositioning of the limbs. The proportions of the face also follow this general tendency towards subdivision. The eyes go at the halfway point in the oval of the skull. Um, we can put a little hair on there if we want to, um, a gesture as to the shadow that, that describes the nose and the mouth, and gives a sense of the human face. Now, when we want to reposition the limbs, uh, we can follow a few shortcuts in this as well. Uh, inscribe a circle around the belly button of the figure. That circle doesn't quite align with the top of the square, but it does give us a position on which to locate uh, the foot as the hip flexes. So that will locate our leg when it is straight in space, when our leg is bent, we need to use the pivot of the hip to locate the knee at the same distance from the hip pivot point as it is when standing. The same thing is true for the shoulder and the elbow. Use the shoulder pivot to guide the uh, relocation of the arm uh, and the hand. We will move on in just a moment to talk about the hand, but when you're drawing um, the figure at a smaller scale, the hand should just be a simple outline gesture and not uh, a detailed illustration. Uh, on the whole, you want to keep your illustrations relatively simple uh, and quick. Uh, remember, you're trying to focus attention not so much on your um, masterpiece drawings of human anatomy as on the object those uh, humans are interacting with. Now, with the human hand, we use the same technique. Let's uh, resharpen our pencil, make sure we got a good point, and um, find the underlying geometry. No matter how we hold things or what we hold, our hand tends to follow uh, simple deformations of the same underlying shapes. So we begin with a double square. We subdivide the palm into quarters uh, and draw the palm loosely uh, within those quarters with the thumb departing uh, on one side. The thumb is jointed and doesn't come up much above the midpoint of those subdivided squares. Uh, we're going to subdivide the fingers then. Remember that the first two fingers are more than half of the top half of the hand. Um, and once we subdivide the fingers, we'll add arcs for the knuckles. The knuckles will always follow arcs, and we'll see what that means in just a moment. Uh, find a quick contour for your hand, and you're off to the races. Now, take that flat geometry and put it in a three-dimensional box. Uh, this doesn't mean our hand is going to look like a robot hand. We'll ease the edges as we go, but uh, the underlying geometry remains the same. Now, let's take that three-dimensional box um, and use that as the basis for deforming the hand 
to fit the object that it is interacting with. So you can see how I have the, the double square extruded in three dimensions, bent to make the, um, the shape here. Let's take a look at that again. There's the double square box, and it gives us the arrangement of the hand in space. As I draw hands in other shapes, we will see that same set of two boxes uh, rotated in space, sometimes bent twice as the knuckles bend. The important thing about the knuckles, though, is that they will always fall on those arcs. So draw those arcs in space and allow those to locate the knuckles of your hand. The most important thing in drawing hands is just to draw a lot of hands. Draw your own hands, draw your friend's hands, just keep at it. There's no substitute for practice. Thanks for watching. non-commercial no derivatives 1.0 us license that means feel free to share it all you want but please don't sell it or change it